This whole story starts in 236 BC uh, with Erastathenes who tried to measure or determine the size of the earth um, using the sun and shadows of the sun. Um, his work was followed by Lacalle in 1751 and he was trying to uh, pursue the question of the oblate spheroid in uh, southern hemisphere. And he measured an arc from Cape Town to about 100 kilometers, nor uh, 100 kilometers north, but the measurement he found was not wrong, uh, was not right. And so George Everest came along in 1820 and he found that Table Mountain was possibly the culprit through the G word, gravitational attraction of the Earth. Um, Thomas McClear followed him in 1836 and he tried to verify the work of uh, Lacalle and he extended also the work uh, to uh, the arc to about 500 no kilometers north of Cape Town. So David Gill was actually a, a, a major influence in Africa and he was the father of geodetic triangulation in South Africa and he started to propose the measurement of an arc of meridian starting from Port Elizabeth down in the south here all the way to uh, Egypt um, and then further extending that arc uh, or joining the arc of Struve in Eastern Europe giving us an 11,000 kilometer uh, arc of meridian which was the longest arc that was measured. Surveying conditions are not easy, terrestrial terrain is flat, uh, instruments were heavy 600 kilograms and we have a, the famous surveyor Dapper Dan who had to abide by certain very strict uh, dress codes. There were 20, about 20, uh, 20 baselines to be measured and the uh, strict dress code was dropped for the, uh, the base measures but the crew chiefs had to wear top hats. Um, progress was slow and in 1909 the IIG commission established uh, a commission to oversee the work. In 1954 the gap was closed so the Arc of Meridian took 75 years to complete. The Struve Arc was uh, inscribed as a National uh, World Heritage Site in 2005 and we're preparing at the moment to uh, do the same with the 30th Arc but the debate is whether it should be done separately or together. So the arc was completed three years before the first satellite was uh, launched in 1957, but it was used to determine uh, satellite orbits. Um, and no sooner had that arc been completed than it became a dinosaur. In a report to the IAG in 1936, uh, there was a document that said that the uh, reference frames in Africa show delightfully local individuality. The uh, Hardebest Hook Radio Astronomy Observatory was built by NASA in 1961 as a 26 meter antenna and today it provides data for the IRS, uh, for VLBI, SLR, GPS and DORIS. The next, uh, next project to unify reference frames in Africa was ADOS and that was an IAG initiative. It used transit, there was no IAG facility in place, IGS facility in place, sorry. The coordination was very difficult and NMOs were not really involved. GNSS was launched in 1989 and it's been around from, for some while, as you can see from the photograph over there. It greatly improved positioning and efficiency and accuracy and we have even better with the IGS. Go team! <laughs> AFREF is now what is on the go at the moment, is to unify the horizontal and vertical reference frames of, of Africa using a network of permanent reference stations. And we've set up a, um, uh, an operational data center where we have very good cooperation of sharing of data. We have gaps in uh, Central Africa and, and North Africa. Uh, I think that's been a problem also with the ADOS project. We have some areas that we're not shown there that are high density. We also have a very good interdisciplinary cooperation with uh, Africa Array, AMA GPS, CINDA, private industry and mining groups who donate data to the, the project for the interest in the uh, GPS signal. So we come to the full evolutionary cycle from Erastothenes who provided us the a priori value for the size of the Earth. Um, we've got satellite orbits that were determined from that 30th arc measurement. We're tracking the VLBI and so on. So as much as Africa is the cradle of mankind, so it's also the cradle of GIGOS. And finally, there were no surveyors, geodesists or astronomers hurting the making of this presentation. Thank you. <laughs>